I've got a question for you. How do you create jobs, uh, redevelop urban communities, and help the environment at the same time? Well, these guys have a pretty good idea. They are DC Greenworks. I'm Van Jones. I'm the special advisor for green jobs for the White House Council on Environmental Quality. Let's go check them out. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. That's good. Thanks so, for coming out today. Oh, no, I'm good. So, uh, so tell me what's going on. I see a bunch of dirt and I see a bunch of people. What's the deal here? That's what our part of the green collar industry is all about. It really is just a bunch of dirt and a bunch of people. And there are some plants as well. So you're, you're making green roofs? Yep. I've heard of solar panels. I've heard of uh, wind farms. What's a green roof? Why is a green roof a good thing? Well, a green roof, as we build them, is a vegetated roof. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing because it adds insulation qualities to your building. It also reduces the urban heat island effect, so it's really critical for um, American urban areas. Um, it reduces stormwater runoff, which is really critical in D.C. That's why we got into green roofing in the first place, because it has the opportunity to mitigate a lot of our pollution. So you, you take this earth, it's sort of, earth is, earth is good for the earth, I guess, because you're going put to it put it up on the roof. Yeah, we grow, with this soil mix, we grow sedum and succulents, which are hardy, drought-resistant plants, and they also spread really rapidly. So what you're going to see today doesn't look like a green roof. It looks more brown. Yeah. But keep in mind that these plants grow at about a 1,000 times their initial size every season. So oh, okay. really, really rapid growth. Yeah. For me, I think about... Um, you know, the real need now for, 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 for jobs, you know, home builders and, and construction workers who for a long time had a lot of work to do, now they're kind of idle. Uh, the president has a big initiative to want to weatherize and retrofit homes and buildings to make them more energy efficient. Do you think that green roofs should be a part of that effort? Absolutely. Green roofs definitely need to be a part of the effort. Not even should. They need to be. Especially in urban areas where you see the benefits really maximized. These are populations where we're only increasing the density and ex expanded green space and reduced temperatures and cleaner air quality and improved river quality really helps all of the inhabitants. And if we continue to do, to do this type of work in the United States, there should be a long career, career path for you. It's a highly skilled, high paying job. Um, I think it's one that a lot of people will like to get into. Perfect. Let's go let's check it out. All right. Nobody gets to laugh until the ambulance comes. <laughs> So here we are on the roof. This yeah. is where all the rest of the magic happens. That's this good, is the final good. step. So is this the green in the green roof? Yeah, this is the green. So, so I told you it was going to look a little like a brown roof at first. Yeah. So you can see where we planted sedums there in the fall that have started to, started to take hold. Now, can, can I eat this? Is this like food or no? Is well, we don't eat these, but you can plant herbs on roofs. And if you build um, deeper roofs, you can also grow. So you can use rooftops as agricultural sources. Yeah. Well, that, that might become important as, as uh, climate change hits, more droughts and that kind of stuff. We're going to want to use less energy uh, to transport food around. Do you guys think that you know, someday green roofs will be a part of the food chain? Is, this, is, that, is that a possibility? Someday. someday. Today. Today. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> You know, this is the kind of stuff that President Obama is super excited about. You know, we, we're trying to figure out ways to solve as many problems as we can with as little money as possible. <laughs> so uh, I, I know he's going to be super happy to hear about this. So I heard you guys got a big grant, you've got this big vision for this corridor. Tell me, tell me about it. What, what, what's, what's next for, for Greenworks? Well, we got a grant from the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development's office for $150,000. Oh, wow. That's good. And we will use that to build 11 green roofs along this corridor oh. on roofs that already needed to be replaced. Now, it provides for DC Greenworks to train um, apprentices and for our staff to assist the business owners with designing and building the green roof and it leverages volunteer labor from the community to build it as well. So we only ask that the building owners match the cash subsidy from the deputy mayor's office, which is about the equivalent of just replacing their roof with a new membrane. Nice. So they're gonna get a green roof that offers them all of these benefits, an extended life, reduce their heating and cooling costs, you know, lower their, bill, uh, their business operating expenses, and all for the price of just a regular roof replacement. Uh, awesome. This is reality, this is urban America. Uh, getting healthier, uh, saving money, getting jobs, getting job training, working together. Thank you, Greenworks. You guys, you, you guys are showing the way. We so appreciate glad you could come out. Yeah, yeah, it's really amazing. So yeah, thanks. Thank you.